Hello friends, in this lesson we shall learn about performing division operation on polynomials. Before learning polynomial division, do you want to know why you need it? From designing roller coaster bridges to calculating path of a satellite, polynomials are everywhere. Even the software engineers who design games and apps for you can't go without polynomials. In 1682, Edmund Halley saw a comet in the sky and predicted its return in 1759. And his prediction was true. That comet was later named Halley's Comet in his honor. That kind of calculation requires good knowledge of polynomial division. Let's take a simple example. Let us divide polynomial 7x minus 4x square by another polynomial x that is divisor is a monomial first we have to write it properly arrange the terms in the polynomial in descending order of their degree that is minus 4x square plus 7x now divide minus 4x square plus 7x by x taking x as common in the numerator we get x multiplied by in bracket minus 4x plus 7 and the denominator is x now x is cancelled between the numerator and denominator so the answer is minus 4x plus 7 let us take a harder problem where the divisor is binomial let's divide a polynomial 3x plus 2x square minus 1 by another polynomial 1 plus x first we have to write them properly arrange the term in the descending order of the degree so it should be 2x square plus 3x minus 1 divided by x plus 1 now put the division bracket and the line write the dividend 2x square plus 3x minus 1 inside the bracket and the divisor x plus 1 on the left side of the bracket now we divide the first term of the dividend that is 2x square by the first term of the divisor that is x that is we divide 2x square by x so what do we get 2x because x square by x is equal to x so 2x square by x is equal to 2x this 2x becomes the first term of the quotient and we write it in the quotient section above the line now we multiply divisor x plus 1 by the quotient we found just now which is 2x so x plus 1 into 2x we get 2x square plus 2x which we write below the dividend now we subtract the 2 just like we do in normal division so that signs will change in the second polynomial it will become minus 2x square minus 2x so now subtract each term below each term so 2x square minus 2x square is equal to 0 plus 3x minus 2x equal to x now rest of the dividend minus 1 comes down so now x minus 1 is the new dividend now we repeat the process we divide the first term of this remaining dividend that is that is x by the first term of the divisor that is x so x by x is equal to plus 1 so plus 1 is the second term of the quotient we write it above the line we multiply the divisor x plus 1 by the quotient plus 1 we just now found so x plus 1 into plus 1 is equal to x plus 1 which we write below the dividend now we subtract again so x minus x equal to 0 minus 1 minus 1 is equal to minus 2 so now minus 2 is remaining in the dividend but it has no x means the power of x is 0 whereas in the divisor x plus 1 the highest power is 1 so the highest power in the leftover dividend is 0 which is lesser than the highest power of divisor which is 1 this means division ends here so whenever the degree of the new dividend is lesser than the degree of divisor, we stop. 
that is it is end of division so the answer of 2x square plus 3x minus 1 divided by x plus 1 is quotient of 2x plus 1 and remainder of minus 2 if we do 15 by 6 we get 2s quotient and 3s remainder and we can actually write it as 15 is equal to 2 times 6 plus 3 that is that is dividend equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder your 6 is the divisor 2 is the quotient and 3 is the remainder so we can write 15 equal to 6 into 2 plus 3 same way we can say 2x square plus 3x minus 1 divided by x plus 1 we can write it as 2x square plus 3x minus 1 is equal to x plus 1 the divisor multiplied by 2x plus 1 we found out which is the quotient minus 2 which is the remainder let's put it in terms of algebra let px be any polynomial of degree greater than or equal to 1 and we divide it by another polynomial gx we can say px equal to gx into qx plus rx where px is the dividend polynomial gx is the divisor polynomial qx is the quotient we get and rx is the remainder this is same as we do in the normal division we will take more examples of it in the next video